so excited today to share with you how to create a pattern brush from a shape. It is so much fun and I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Um, so you can create a pattern brush with any shape. You can use a simple shape like a star or a heart or you can use a more complex shape. You can draw that shape using the drawing tools in Illustrator or you can draw um, just using a pen and a pencil or a, a pencil and a paper and then scanning that in or taking a photograph and doing an image trace in Illustrator. Um, the final result though does need to be path based so you can see my paths in here and then it also would be helpful if you can group those paths together. So if you go to your direct selection tool here, draw a box over that and hit command G to group. All right, once you've done that, we need to think about a couple key things before we actually make our pattern brush. Now a pattern brush, if you've never uh, heard that term before in Illustrator, is a brush that applies a shape over the course of a path. So if I drew a path across here, this shape would be repeated across that path. Um, but the way that I position and size my shape on my document will have an effect on how that applies to the path. So if I turn this shape from left to, so that it's going from left to right instead of from the uh, ground up as it is currently, then as I draw my uh, path as I, with, with my new pattern brush that I'm creating, um, it will go along that path. So it will, you know, go at, look like it's kind of growing many small branches across there. Um, if I leave it going straight up and down, when I draw that path, it will be perpendicular to the path. So it'll still show up, but it just won't have that kind of flowing look. So you want to think about how you're positioning your shape on your document before you even create your brush. So I'm going to go in and rotate this. I'm going to hit E, take it into my transform tools and then just rotate this like this so that it's going from left to right. And then that should kind of keep that same flow when I create the pattern brush. Now one other thing that I can do is I can scale this down because whatever the current size of my shape is, is going to also determine what the starting size of my brush is going to be. So again, if I'm in that transform control, hit E, the letter E for your keyboard shortcut for that, you can hold the shift key down and just scale that shape down a little bit uh, before we apply it as a brush. That's if you do want it to be smaller. Otherwise, you can just keep it the size that it is. And the more of these that you create, the more you're gonna see um, what I mean in terms of how you can um, kind of affect the way that the final brush looks by the way that you're positioning it on your document. Um, so now all I need to do is open up my brush window. If you don't see your brush window, you can go to window and select brushes. And then I'm going to take my shape and drop it into that brush window. Um, notice that I have the options of doing a scatter, art, or pattern brush. Click on pattern and hit OK. All right, so here you can see the preview of what my brush is going to look like. And because I turn that brush to the side, you can see that it just goes right along that path. Now, if you look here at these different options, these five boxes, if you look underneath those, you can see that these boxes are trying to define how you want certain corners to look on your brush. So if you're drawing a brush where it has a corner, um, a left corner like this, um, you can kind of choose, do you want it to be auto-centered? Do you want to um, have auto-between, which is kind of like a you know, flipped uh, shape there. You can slice the shape and kind of piece it together or you can overlap it or you can go down and, or oh, go up and choose none. So then that would have no corner in that spot. So I'm gonna just do auto-centered auto because that's fine with me. Um, notice that here in this spot there's nothing because I currently have nothing that you know my slash through in this box so if I wanted to change that I could do the auto centered and that would add a shape in uh, I want a fixed scale here uh, you can space it out more if you'd like so if you want to do like a 10% spacing you could do that um, and that would just space out each individual shape a little bit more um, I'm gonna go back to that 0% spacing. Uh, you can also flip these. So if you'd rather have the brush um, go the, like the plant go the other way along the brush, you can flip that by flipping um, 
along kind of the horizontal there and then flipping along the vertical too. So you can decide. Um, there's a, a stretch to fit is usually the default. You can kind of click through there and see the difference between the two. I like stretch to fit because I think that looks the most natural and it's kind of the most uniform, but you can change that up if you'd like. And then you can colorize these too. So that's really cool. So I'm gonna go in and choose a hue shift. That's the most kind of natural colorization that you can do with a pattern brush and hit okay. So now I can go ahead and delete my shape and here you can see my new pattern brush right here. So if I select that and I go into my brush tool and uh, start painting here, there is my brush. It's looking pretty good. Now I could also go in and change the color on that brush so that I get some different effects. Now certain colors you can see have better effects with um, certain brushes. This is so bold that I really don't see those little variations in my original shape. But if I go to something that's a little bit of more of kind of a pastel or a softer hue, um, you can see those little details. So that's pretty cool. And just like any other brush, you can expand this up or down. Um, I can even take it very far down there. So. So these are really uh, quite fun to do. Um, once you start going with them, there's really no limit. Uh, oops, let me take this back. And they will, um, just like a brush, if you go into something like the width tool, if you want to expand the width in some of those areas, you can kind of distort this as it's going across. So that's kind of fun too. Um, and there's really no limit to what you can do. So experiment, experiment with these, easy for me to say, experiment with these, have some fun and enjoy making your new pattern brushes. All right.